Uh, oh, so- Hi, Paul. Hey, man. Hey, Belinda. <laughs> and welcome to building up to a milestone episode where Paul won't shut his mouth. That's shut okay. Up, we like hearing from Paul. <laughs> yeah. Right, right, listener. Right, right, commenters. We like right. hearing from Paul. Paul's the best. I gotta go down my light value here. I'm cooking. Lest you be purple, like in other other oh, Right. Hey, we got some stuff for you tonight. Yeah. Welcome to the new year. 2020. Is this our first one? Of no. The new year? No. I think first... 2020 is really coming at us, but uh, we won't get into that. <laughs> I think it just has been that. Uh... You, you know, earlier today, you pitched to me the idea of, of like first impressions of 2020 sets. Yeah. And in my head, I completely forgot how far into 2020 we are. And now looking at January 7th, I'm like, the hell are we going to talk about? <laughs> first impressions. <laughs> Um, so, for a brief second, I thought we were much further into the year than yeah. we actually are. So, <laughs> well, they I'm are starting to I... pop up, which is kind of why we thought we thought it might be an interesting. We had one. we had trolls. We had the new city stuff. We had uh, yeah. yeah. I've, I've looked at some stuff, and I, I mean, Acting I guess we could, things. We the, could the, give the, some the, impressions, yeah. but the Eddie not, White yeah. Speed Champions, uh, that kind of stuff. The new the new yeah. Marvel superhero Actually, yeah. stuff. Yeah, about the Speed Champions, Kenny reached out to me and he asked because uh, he's absolutely enthralled with his Honda Civic, like <laughs> yeah. like every sixteen year old is. Is, and is this he, a new um, Honda Civic or is that the car he gave me a ride in? No, I think he had like a Ford focus or some shit back then probably yeah then if, if yeah, this, this is new probably the this focus is, SVT. This, all right this, he might have like a little toyota or something he's got he's got a uh a newer civic he loves it like like anybody who commits that much money to a vehicle should okay so but it's maybe like he loves model. it too much anyway <laughs> it's a civic i mean how much can you love it i've got a 2013 Civics are great man it's okay oh these have got some civic lovers in the room tonight I don't own one, I, but they're great cars. Ca- cars to me are like tools. It's like a hammer. Like I don't ca- give a yeah. shit about cars. Like I agree. Honestly, I bought I a Civic because they're reliable, they're mm-hmm. efficient. Okay, everybody's they're... got Civic shit. That's, I, got I, the, I, I bought it on practical sense. Civic. I have the Ultima. <laughs> what pisses no, the, me the, off? The Nissan what... version of the Civic is the Sentra. <laughs> yeah. What pisses well, me off is I bought right, a so, Civic. So then I have like... the the version of the, the I have the Nissan uh, the Accord. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I bought a Civic to be like responsible, but my insurance company is like nobody who has a Civic is responsible. They're all street <laughs> racers. So you pay more tax. <laughs> racing Honda S two thousands with spoon engines. Anyway, so Kenny that, that's me that's and he the said, same as your you know four door any sedan. Eight wide speed champion Civic um, designs that maybe I could recreate to, to make my car. And I'm like, I don't know. Nothing crazy yet. Uh, maybe there's some modded ones out there. You'll have to wait for more there, cars to come out. Like they're, they're doing Nissan now. So, you, I mean, I don't know. Oh, you had no solution for them. I, yeah. I said, look around. They might. There's probably a mock somewhere. I don't think yeah. it's an official one. Uh, I don't think they have the, the Honda license at this point. But Yo, uh, they, uh, they, are, they are expanding to a lot of them. Um, especially in 2000 or 2020, I mean, uh, they've, they've got a lot of new licenses through different other licenses, uh, through through more like larger licenses, like uh, <laughs> like the I think it's like four some some of the racing games, like they they they've gotten license licenses for a number of different makers through the racing game license that they have. Oh, I like the teal cars. The Jaguars. Yeah, that, that's a dope looking set. The two car set's really cool, but it's actually, Audi, like, I think. straight up, if you put police lights on top of this it looked like animated prowl as a car <laughs> wasn't oh, as a car got it yeah he was uh, a bike yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but I, that, that almost flex. looks like that almost looks like the uh, weird flex but okay <laughs> that almost looks like the uh oh, man, he was saying... a bike. animated prowl was a bike <laughs> so i've never seen animated any, he said, anyway okay we're here animated we're already talking amazing. about shit um <laughs> What did you I get this anime, week? But he sold it all. Anything? <laughs> what did I get this week? Uh, uh, I feel like I gotta talk about animated now. Bad <laughs> call, Chris. <laughs> you don't. All right, go I ahead. got. Let's. I guess I'll screen share. All right. 
Oh. I didn't. I got a finished poster that's being printed. So there's going to be another poster release. Exploiting the young. Exploiting the super young. <laughs> no, uh, providing opportunity. New opportunities. Yeah. So nice. this is like a it. 4435 ca uh, car and caravan from, I don't know, a few years back. It's a four-digit set, so it's a few years old. Did this guy you not have a family? <laughs> there was two figures in the set. I, I think don't know where she is. I think he killed his wife. <laughs> he turned her into a rabbit. Someone's going to take the picture. Uh, I guess so. Take my picture while I look forlorn. <laughs> hey, look, a rabbit. <laughs> So this is going to be a poster that's going to be available from Bricks and a Dollar very soon. As soon as I have it printed, I'm getting a limited run printed. That's fewer than I normally get printed. Do you so, want to uh, hear my my? Do you want to hear my first off the bat critique of it? Quick, one thing. Yeah, one small thing. Uh, one small thing. The moon shouldn't be above a hand. It should be over to the right. That's all I'm saying. I like that the the campfire was shaped like a bunny as well. I like that. Too. Whoa. I wonder if he, because the bunny wasn't there initially. I wonder if he uh, drew the campfire like a bunny and then go, hey, it looks like a bunny. I'll make a bunny. Or maybe he subconsciously <laughs> was just drew the campfire and he's like, I need an animal. I'll make it a bunny. <laughs> oh, good for you for using it subconsciously instead of unconsciously. Good for you. Well done. People confuse that shit all the time and it makes it drives me crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The, the subconscious collective. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I uh, encounter people doing that on a regular basis. You'd be surprised. Now that now that you I'm now not, that I'm you know, for it, maybe. Yeah, now that you know, you'll hear it all the time. <laughs> maybe I will. Is that all you got, Chris? Uh, yeah, yeah I, I, you got I problems. So. Other than... you got, you got I, I, you got I, I've got parts? some. I've got some uh, things I'm working through right now. Growing pains. If we're you not going to talk about it, but it's uh, you know, maybe he's an entrepreneur. He will prevail like he did before. I believe in you, Chris. Thank you, uh, oh. Paul. You wanted to go next, right? Uh, yeah, I've got a couple things that I can share as well. Let us attempt to share. Attempting to share. Share. And... Oh no, he's over sharing. Share initiated. <laughs> Uh, I was able to get the other uh, the other eight minifigures. Fingers crossed, I got them all. I have not had, yet had a chance to open these, but I thought to to bring it up. Um, you got we, eight of them. I did get another eight, and now so I have the full sixteen. Oh, okay. Fingers sure. crossed. Um, but I got the second eight at Walmart, and I was able to get them for three dollars and forty four cents. We weren't sure if they were going to be uh, <coughs> purchasable at three forty four or if they were just mistagged. Uh, they were indeed three forty four. So uh, if you are in uh, if you are Walmart adjacent and you are a, uh, a fan of these DC minifigures, I would recommend going there at least before the uh, <laughs> Walmart before adjacent. They <laughs> and when you said that, it sounds to, to me in my head, I heard I'm PayPal ready. <laughs> I'm Walmart adjacent. <laughs> I'm Walmart. When, people, when people really want you to like conform to the deal that they're proposing, they're like, Dude, I'm PayPal ready. It's like we're all PayPal ready. Calm down. <laughs> I'm Walmart adjacent. Yeah, I, I think PayPal ready should be the default. The fact that it's oh, I I'll, I get paid on Friday. Can you hold it till then? Is like no. Why'd you reach don't out? Don't go shopping. <laughs> exactly. Don't go shopping if you get paid on Friday and and you yeah. don't have money until then because uh, you can't you go to a be store. Shit. It's not layaway here. <laughs> don't be buying shit if you don't have the money yet. That's right. <laughs> but anyway, yes, go to go to Walmart. Toys. Get get your toys, your minifigures for three forty four piece, which Walmart is much better than than five. Even though, as we'll discuss later today, the five actually is not nearly as bad as uh, as it, as it may seem. Uh, and then the uh, next thing I got is uh, was the uh, the Mandalorian uh, battle pack. I was able Jelly to find one. Nights. Jelly Bean Knights. Jelly Bean Knights two point oh. The gummy uh, Star Wars bears. style. Uh, which one of them is the Mandalorian? Neither. Neither of these are the actual Mandalorian. The Mandalorian oh, figure itself comes in the ATSD set. Which you um, also can't get. Yeah, correct. Just like uh, you have to buy three sets to get the Knights of Ren. Uh, well, this one's not, not quite as bad. No. At least that one is Mandalorian. This is just <laughs> Mandalorian troopers, basically. That's, um, so the, the buying all the sets to get the Knights of Ren collectively, that's nothing new. No, it's not. You had not. to buy every set in the Rogue One wave to get the whole crew. 
Like, yeah, that's, the, that's nothing new. You have to buy, you have to buy the sets. whole uh, Marvel Legends wave to get the Build-A-Figure. That's nothing new. We had to buy three sets to get a creeper, a skeleton, and a spider in my day. <laughs> so, Paul, uh, none of these are anybody? They're just Jelly Bean Mandalorians? I believe that's the case. I'm almost... I, I'll say yes. They're not, these are not anyone specific. They are kind of more inspired by things, but like the blue one is not the is not the heavy artillery Mandalorian. Um, and in fact, this one I believe is a girl. Uh, the dark at the screen. Gross. No, I'm not. Oh, I can't. Here you go. This one's a girl, as is this one, I believe, just based on the way that the visors are set up. These are the two males, and these are the two females. They're not anyone specific that I can recall with these exact markings. The helmets armor. have eyelashes. <laughs> um so so yes n- neither of these are actually at least certainly no one in, that that was in the mandalorian uh to my to my recollection uh the only actual mandalorian figure is again again the one in the atst set uh with the cara dune and, and stuff like that as well um, i got a cara dune traded into the store someone did not like her wow already that's crazy yeah, like none of the other parts of that set just the cara dune along with like they brought in a bunch of figures but that was one of them She's one like, of the ones that I want. That I want the most. <laughs> That's I the like, reason I want that set. <laughs> do you want? Do you, I mean? I can. No, look, no, goes, I, I can see if it's still at the store. But you're planning on getting the set. So. Yeah. No worries. Because because I, I want the Mandalorian figure. I actually well. had to look it up. I'm like, is this the the one from that Mandalorian show? <laughs> it is. Wow. How does this here already? You yeah. Probably I sell still that. Haven't gotten a Zuckus, and those slave ones are flying out of here. Huh. That's true. Do I have a Zuckus yet? And I gotta, I gotta Some, check. Uh, someday, someone will trade in a bulk lot, and they'll have the Zuckus from that 20th anniversary Slave One, and I'll keep the Zuckus. But until then, I just don't have a Zuckus, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> Patience saves pockets. Yeah. Uh, but yes, that's it for me. I got a, I got a bunch of figures. I've only opened this one set, and I didn't even. I uh, got a. <laughs> didn't even. Okay, open before it you close that. Yeah. Before you close that, I'm gonna have to bring up something. So. Sorry, Matt. You're gonna have to wait. It's all good. So we talked about this earlier. So, Paul, I saw an exchange. You you posted this picture in the ROC group, and I'm like, I can only imagine what the response is gonna be to a picture of some rainbow Mandalorian Lego figures in the in the ROC group. There are a surprising amount of Lego fans in the group. I'll give you that. But um, you had a exchange with somebody in that group who I've never heard of, where they said. Uh, my kids are into Lego, and oh, yeah. I'm trying to get my son more into Star Wars, and I want to get him this set. I think that is probably the worst plan. Um, and I'll go into that. So, you know me on my high horse. Lego is a medium. <laughs> and this is like the most, I want action figures, and that's all I want sets out there. It's four <laughs> figures and some shit on the side. They're not going to have any Lego appreciation out of this set. They're just going to have four more figures to to pose, not even it's to pose, the, uh, to display. Sorry. Mandalorian turd jumping brigade. Uh, <laughs> yeah, cuz it's I, four figures and a turd. <laughs> it is so uh, it's uh it is uh, it is a an ugly looking speeder which I don't know if they were actually on those speeders. Uh it, in in dude, any that in any speeder is identical to the one from before, right? The, so that's speed. Yeah, oh, not identical. I shouldn't say identical. Yeah, it's, it, it's looks, a little bit bulkier. And the speeder and the gunner look just like the speeder and the gunner from the previous Mandalorian battle pack from, I don't know what year that was, 2012? The one when they all look like Django Fett, basically, <laughs> right? That one? Yeah, I've, I've got Dude, that one too. You, you, you want to know a, a really great sidebar is that we've been steadily increasing the price of those four identical Mandalorians from that battle pack as we put them together out of bulk. We're selling them for like $10 a figure now for those Dang. nameless <laughs> blue and gray, not Django Fets. Yeah, because not of even Django. TV show. It's incredible. <laughs> I have those back in, from back in the day, thank God, because I would be those, mad. Those figures can't be more than $2 on BrickLink. <laughs> But yeah, so the speeder is almost identical to that. It's just it's a little bit bulkier and a little bit more visually interesting because it's different Rusty. colors. Yeah, it's it's different colors, but it's nothing special. Uh, I think it's it's more useful as parts as it, than it is as the speeder because I don't think they've ever ridden the speeder, and most of most Mandalorians have jetpacks anyway. Why would they be on a speeder? So so whatever. Um, but uh, 
but yeah, so it is, it is, it is that. And you are, of course, correct in that this is more minifigures than than Lego. But uh, it is, it is certainly the gateway that you can you can consider as the gateway. And maybe he buys him this and the ATSD set, and he does that. Or if he's lucky. Yeah, or I, I was just saying that if, the, if, if you're the getting into mate. Lego. You, you should get into Lego, then get into Lego Star Wars. If you're going to get into Lego Star Wars, you might not transition over to Lego in general after that. I'll I think agree that's with the wrong you there, way in. But uh, I think it is, unfortunately, a very kind of hipster attitude to have with it. I think it's this, it's a different world now. And as we all have talked about many, many times, the the licensed, the licensed ones are are huge for Lego, man. They, they, they bring in all sorts of new people into the into the hobby. And hopefully we'll be able to transition them from this into the others. That will depend on JR, I, I believe, in this case, to to also try to expand it into other things. But he is more he is more the Star Wars fan and, and wants them to get into Star Wars as opposed to just Lego. So his name it, is clearly Junior. What do you call him it, JR for? It so certainly he, looks like Junior, but I believe I've heard it mentioned in other, in other places that it was JR. I don't know if that's, that's the case or not. That's for people who want him to feel like a big boy. <laughs> um, no, my, my adult <laughs> friends call me Jr. <laughs> my family calls me Junior. My dad calls me Junior. Um, I mean, here's the thing: what he's going to do is he's going to buy these first kid. His kid's going to like it, and he's going to go to his partner, and he's going to go, "Look, honey, he likes Lego Star Wars. Next purchase, I don't know, UCS Falcon." <laughs> or it'll be like, look at look, grandma, grandpa. He loves Lego stuff, and then so they they not knowing at all which of these things are Star Wars it's or Spock. not, will just buy them other laser other Lego heads. sets. Yes, laser is it heads. for him? So here becomes the thing: How old is this kid? No idea. Is he Wait, like is seven? Kid junior, junior. Like <laughs> would, on um, would be the third. His name. Is what, what's, the, what's the what's that show? I'm just My wife saying, and kid? All I'm saying is like maybe this Star Wars path is for him this yeah. lego star wars maybe he just wants lego star wars and, and so he that? wants the He's... grandparents to buy it for his kid <laughs> and then he gets to help him build it yeah there's I, no I, building I, I, in this I'm, set I'm oh it's just not a good build where's where's carter why isn't why isn't carter working on star wars yet i need him to work you know, on these so, battle packs <laughs> so i'm i i saw something i saw an ad on instagram and i thought carter would enjoy it so i shared it with him on facebook messenger because that's the best way i know how to contact him anymore being in another country i don't know if phones work over there so uh he he saw it like you know his little bubble popped down at the bottom and for some reason in my head i took that as oh he responded to me so then i continued a conversation with him and then the next day I went back and realized he never said anything. <laughs> You're so desperate. He it saw like. <laughs> both of my batches of messages and that's it. Uh, hilarious. Total so, Carter move. You're, 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 you're thirsty for Carter. He left you on red. <laughs> no, he, he read it. He left me unresponded. I, yeah, I, that's being left on red. Uh, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I won't get a response out of him until his wedding in April. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's, I think that's all funnier, I got. Funnier than anything. Get into Lego, then get into Star Wars. Don't get into Star Wars Lego and then expect to like any other Lego ever. Eh, it's, it's, exactly. It's, it's, Fuck the right fake, way, it's a different world, unfortunately. Fuck fake Lego sets. What did I get? Oh, I got some mini figures. Um, <laughs> this one's for Paul. When your cat won't come to you. Piss, 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 piss. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyways, yeah, I picked up. <laughs> I picked up some of the uh, 2020 DC Wave. I forgot one. I didn't get any doubles. I picked a full set for my buddy who uh, owns the comic shop in town. Nice. Um, <laughs> Hair farmer. <laughs> local resident and hair farmer. And then I picked He's a myself. Hair farmer. I picked myself seven uh, and forgetting that I also wanted a Sinestro. But I've already decided after playing with these tonight that I want a few more of them. They're really awesome. Um, yeah. So I got uh, what? Flea. What's his name? <laughs> Batmite. Batmite. I got Batmite. <laughs> Crooked Ear Boy. I got Cheetah. I is, in... is Batmite from anything aside from being like the uh, tutorial narrator in the, one of the video games? Uh, he's in Batman Brave and the Bold. Um, and I think um, he was. I don't, I don't know. know if, it, was a, it was a cartoon. Went for three seasons, I believe, uh, on. 
<laughs> it's not Nickelodeon, good. maybe? I got Aquaman. It's great. It's a great cartoon, though. I never even heard of it. That's crazy. So we love to misspread information. This is actually Mr. Miracle, not Red Tornado. We never corrected ourselves. I got Metamorpho. Who's that other guy? El Pipi? El Pipi. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Look, we we are not a new show. aficionados on, on DC, DC, DC where's, characters. Where's fucking that Bobby Skullface? Where's Skullface? R- Robbie, R- Robbie Boneface. <laughs> that, that Flash he, is he, going super fast right now. Yeah, he's real fast. So um, first thing I want to talk about, I only picked up seven. Uh, How much do you from, think Bobby knows about Mr. Miracle? Uh, is that like too late even most. for him? No, I think he, he would certainly know it. Uh, I don't know if you care. He's a C-list hero. But he would know enough about it because he's got to promote DC Comics. Like, he loves it. Does he? He loves DC. Oh. He doesn't have to. I'm, I'm just joking about that. Oh, he I thought he had, like, some, like, a no, no, contract. No, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's not like Pinkerton Amesco. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I wanted to talk about a few things. Uh, my first impression while hunting for them was fuck these things. <laughs> fuck them. You can take me off big screen, please. My God. Um, you done holding them up? I'm done holding them up for now. Fuck He's these things farmer. a little bit. Um, so I was pissed off. I'm in chapters. I left my breakfast smoothie in the car because I just went in to use the facilities and then remembered I wanted to pick up a cookbook. <laughs> and uh, then I was like, oh, shit. I should see if there's any Lego on sale. And then I was like, oh, shit. The... DC figs are here, and the bag, the box hasn't been mangled. I went a day or two after Boxing Day to uh, Toys R Us, and there was like five mangled boxes of the DC 2020 figures right after Christmas. Uh, So I went to Chapters, and there was one box, and it was mostly undisturbed. So I was like, all right, let's get this done. I know my buddy wants all 16, and I want like (laughs) five or six of them. I start going through them. You guys are weak. It, Huh? You guys are weak. Why? You have to have them. I don't. Well, I don't have to have them. I just would like, you know, if I had to have them, I get all sixteen. I'm just, we'll get to it. All right. Didn't you? No, I got all sixteen for my buddy who's weak. Oh, okay. And then I like, got myself I, seven. I like seven. A, okay, yeah. And then he wants and, more. And you I left that I'm, buddy part out earlier when you told us. Nah, no, that's not it. right. That's not, right. not not now in the chat earlier. Oh, yeah, maybe that's true. Um, yeah, so I'm feeling the bags. And after 10 minutes, I'm like, I've only figured out who two of these fuckers are. <laughs> like, the first one was Sinestro, which is like, okay, so first thing that's fucking you over is like, yeah, we all know the base plate's the same shape. But now there's two more pieces in every bag that are the same. the same. Shape. Yeah, the jumper it- plate and the new uh, flight stand, I'll call it, uh, the flight piece. Um so now there's three pieces that are the same in every bag. Green Lantern and Yellow and Sinestro are the exact same pieces, except Sinestro has a flat hair piece. Yep. So it's a low, pro- <laughs> low profile hair piece. It's one of the smallest ones, actually. And you have to find that or like just accept that it's not in there. Yep. That's, so that's, I've that's been feeling difference. like this a is, help. Yeah, so Green, Green Lantern has I'm, no hair. And they oh, both have these little different hair. It's no and hair. Sinestro has hair. Otherwise, so he only, the only the difference, in the bag the only the difference is that he has his hair. And they also have that dumb little fucking stud holder yeah. and then the other flat stud. So there's an additional two pieces that are the exact same. Yeah, that thing. There's an additional two pieces that are small that are the same between those two sets. So you're already fucking around on that guy. So- We've entered into the reality that we need a little baby hypersensitive gram scale with us when we're figuring out these facts. <laughs> yeah, with my food scale something time. like that. That's where it was getting. So it, it did. It took me to pick the uh, twenty-three figures that I intended to buy. It took me seventy minutes. Yeah, it definitely takes longer. I will a hundred percent co-sign that because there are now so many more. I guess repeated pieces or consistent pieces. And then the other thing is any figure, most of these figures have two of the flight pieces. So now there's three pieces actually, except for the ones that have the cellophane bag inside. Generally the ones with capes are packaged in the cellophane one, the way Dorothy was in series, whatever. Is the cape (laughs) outside of the inner bag? I don't remember. I did not store the information. 
Uh, keep so, talking, and I'll see. I can verify once I get. Would it have been oh, easier know. if you just bought the whole case? Uh no. Well, yeah, it would have been easier. On the, Obviously, uh, it would have been easier, but they're five bucks each, right? So I'm yeah. not going to do that. You just have to resell them somehow, or. Well, or I'm not worried about it. Like, feel I the didn't packs take... like on your own time, then return the rest. I've seen that done a lot. You oh, buy the really? Whole case, take it home. That's right. them, so here's then, something I'll admit. If I I'm, put my balls on all of these packs. If I'm really fucking annoyed with a figure and I did this for Green Lantern and Yellow Lantern, I'll hold on to that base plate real hard and I'll just push it against my thumb until I get like a pinhole and I'll roll a head around to confirm what's uh, inside. Yeah, let me uh, just show right off the bat. I have no shame. Man. Uh, no, the Matt, I've outside. got a great story. Keep it outside of the, the, the second bag. I thought I okay. was the only one. Dude, when Series 10 was out and the hunt for Mr. Gold was on, I would bring a thumbtack with me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I would, uh, as I was going through them, I would thumbtack the corner, like the upper right you know corner, what all the, the way. What, what the, the heat sealed strip at the top. Just the, put James, a whole... the James Bond move, though, is to roll up the seam on the back and do it under the flap. Roll up the seam. Oh, so no one will find the little. So hole that in it. it then folds over and it's hidden. I, I mean, this wasn't uh, to understand. look inside. This was just to mark it, so that I know I've, I've already felt that pack. Oh, I've got a system for that. I'll empty a whole tray. A no, whole no, 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 this, this is so I can come back to that store another day, and uh, and, and not have to go and through those. I've already been through those because uh, during series ten, the packs were turning over so fast. Right. People are looking for Mister Gold. So, right, so you come back and you'd have a box, and if it had a little thumbtack hole through the corner, yeah, you know, that's clever. That's good. I get it. Yeah, and it was um, it was up in like one of the uh, the the busy um, colorful corners, maybe where it said like series ten or something up in the top right. So yeah. it was like, if it was on like a big stretch of just yellow or gold, You'd it would notice be noticeable. It. But it's like it was just up there, and then you could feel it, but it didn't really obstruct the. Packaging yeah, that's a great idea. So many people in in Pennsylvania had no idea that you screwed them all I, over. <laughs> I honestly did this uh, on a couple trips, and then I was well, like, you know what? Why the fuck the am I doing this? Experience at all? It certainly does not. It doesn't, honestly. And I, I went through. I, I think. Oh crap! I did the math at one point. Uh, what did I have? Bet you wish you had a thumbtack. Forty five hundred. <laughs> five thousand. I, I forgot how many I actually went through. Uh, to try to find, I did the math. Seriously? Like, oh yeah, because I actually went to. I was at Legoland that summer as well, and went through the barrels and stuff that they had in this in there. Oh, when you screen share, you can share audio now. We could watch videos. Stream dog. Stream dog. You're the stream um, dog. So I wanted to little do a little screen share uh, to to move on to our next topic on these figures. Um, quick oh, God, little damn. shout out to this bulldog. <laughs> <laughs> which I didn't notice before. Um, yeah, I hope so, the, so there <laughs> are oh, there's a few dogs in the city sets, but they're not like in Dream the bottom dog? right with those pictures. Their names are they're they're elsewhere on the box, but it wasn't with the other characters, so I didn't grab the that portion of the box. So this dog's not named Muggsy. I was gonna say Muggsy yeah, is they the have best names. One. They have names, and they're named on the box, but I I forget what they are. I That's know it hilarious. was some it was something you'd enjoy. I'll tell you that. <laughs> All right. So, and then I also want to note Daisy Kaboom eyes, pretty height, four centimeters, wanted for being a dynamite crook. Hey. <laughs> That's hilarious. I love it. Uh, I think the tone of the show is set right there. Oh, did you? Um. So, did you guys witness Shadows all the Antuck? comments we've we've been getting? I just saw uh, the Antuck comment, and that's it. Yeah. So apparently, all these characters were in there. Are, there, there is a TV show. They are in the TV show, and uh, I'm actually that might be the whole thing. Well, I didn't so know our, if there was something else that referenced them as well. Our conversation is is no less valid. It's just uh, <laughs> they, we were we were right <laughs> at least for that portion, uh, and all this other we talked about. Maybe if the, maybe they'll get a show. We recorded that a long time ago before <laughs> yeah, the TV so. show was on. Also, 
Lego like pulled out of Cartoon Network and now they're on Nickelodeon. So it's on Nickelodeon. But Bone Shaker's calling us out, and I did promise I'd read. Uh, oh wait, that was Brickhead UK. Bone Shaker. Like Fifteen of the comments we got are all about city guys or whatever the hell you were talking about. I man. know, but uh, she, she, uh, Bone Shaker said regarding your subject of city names, you talked about it last week. Remember? <laughs> so yeah, we talk about some things twice. City guys. But they have a little bit of uh, insight. I don't remember talking about the city guys' names. Before. I don't. <laughs> you gonna read it there, Matt? Anyways, Scott. <laughs> Scott. Great. I was just reading. Anyways, Scott. He was said, reading. Uh, you forgot to say do it out loud. Scott said he googled city guys, and it was a sitcom <laughs> that aired on Saturday mornings for five seasons. <laughs> yeah, there was there was more interest in this TV show that Matt referenced that none of us had heard of. It's just like your tiger, tiger stripes ice cream or whatever. Everyone loves it. Tiger tails. Yeah. Tiger tail. It's the Canadian People are just inside. hungry for this like Canadian weird ca- Canadiana. We'll call it. Yeah, you know, like, um, like Americana, Canadiana. Like Canadiana. <laughs> yeah, we got it. It's got intrigue. It's interesting to hear. Um, so I love I've now that I was, I was annoyed with the DC 2020 figs. I opened them and then I pretty much immediately fell in love with them. I started taking pictures of them and uh, the kinds you know, of pictures that, that Chris hates kind of picture that Chris hate. I just was messing with the posability I and I took pictures you to hate show pictures it off. of minifigures because you think this is no different than any action figure pictures. Oh, That's true. Yeah. You broke it. Wrong. Share audio. <coughs> just kidding. Wow, you got in like a folder of, of Messenger. It's happening. Well, it this wasn't the, showing all the pictures. This is the DOS version of Messenger. This was, this yeah, so this DOS was the first version. one. Uh, and I realized that not only does it give me the Aquaman? ability to put Aquaman in the air, it actually gives me a, a way to show the path of his motion. Yeah, it looks like he's actually, those are like the, the bubbles. Uh, the bubbles from him kicking or whatever, you know? It's he's like, about to bop someone on the head with a fish. I could even put his other leg up and have a bunch more coming off that leg, and it would be like a trail, you know? Permission to come aboard. Could you, so, could you double helix them? Double helix. That would be awesome. I don't know so, if that would actually be awesome, but the nerd of me thinks it's cool. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sorry, but uh, unfortunately, <laughs> it's not letting me flip through them individually. Um that's why it's annoying. Nextly, you saw the picture of Cheetah. But yeah. then, it, you know, it sort of sets up a fun stage for action. El PP. El PP. <laughs> <laughs> and then I really, oh, uh, you know. That's a good idea. Now you're doing it right. Put, yeah, here's where I got into it. I was like, oh, yeah, here we go. Batman swinging in on a rope. And then for display I like purposes, <laughs> I, I like it a lot too. His head's kind of crooked, but for display purposes here, I do like that. I mean, there's just there's it's a much more dynamic pose that you can do. Just it by actually you know, makes me feel like things. a minifigure is an action figure instead of just being like something you display head on like a pop. Right, and and That's- so so for these, like, uh, the, it's there. There are two different. There kind of a couple different ways that you can display. Figures. Let's even go to action figures per, t- per se, not necessarily even minifigures. Like to have it look impressive, you could have them all lined up, and then what makes it impressive is the volume of them. Um, yeah. Or you can have them in dynamic poses, and that's the. That's and then the, it matters does, less. Yeah. It matters yeah. less that you don't have every single one. You can. And actually... it's it's much more visually interesting this way when you can. And then use yeah. Them dynamic and so I was I was using them to sort of jump the figures off, and then like why don't I just use them to sort of manipulate the accessories? And here I thought power it'd punch. Be, it'd be cool if Metamorpho could sort of throw his punches off, like he's like detaching some sort of matter from his body, right? That's sort of his deal. And so, uh, you know, I put him in his hand, and you know, this isn't the perfect shot, but I was, I did it in ten seconds. And yeah, it's just like, messing with him. But the, the the options are definitely there, yeah, and varied, you know? and you can do a lot of stuff that normally you wouldn't be able to do without, like, without doing yo, the, the Lego cheats. Like, so I have a can... blue jar behind him here, so it kind of looks like he's swimming after him. But you know, whatever. Well, that's true. What do you think about that? I was, I was uh, just more like, you have a blue a blue mug, cool. And then <laughs> I forgot. Uh, I forgot I didn't get Sinestro because I was going to have Sinestro sort of like calling down the yellow lantern using a bunch of these things, you know, 
So it's like kind of descending toward him, or like, or he's putting it up in the air. Here's how PP doing a backflip. <laughs> I just love that you named him LPP. It's for no reason other than we're naming him LPP. It's hilarious. <laughs> uh, and then uh, Chris asked uh, after I told him that we misnomered him on the episode we revealed him. Uh, he's like, he comes with a chain and handcuffs. I don't really understand why. I'm like, I'm pretty sure he's just an escape artist. Uh, I don't know anything about Mr. Miracle. I like the figure, though. I think the colors are hilarious. That might is... Uh, I just got him because he's silly. He's the door. I'm just I'm waiting for the the inevitable uh, toy photographer photo of Mr. Miracle hanging out with uh, El Macho wrestler from the Lego Movie and yeah, he looks like a luchador. The, uh, the 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 luchador from like series one or whatever, and I think there's another wrestler that looks like that. So just them just hanging out. All three of just, them, yeah. Just yeah. running some spice. But Red Tornado does kind of look like a luchador as well. They've all got that kind of a uh, that, that aesthetic kind of look to it, and, um, uh, and then I got a little more crazy with the flash. Instead of sort of manipulating an accessory, I kind of created the environmental effect. Uh, of course, the harness on his back allows you to give two lightning bolts going off his back. But when you sort of put him into this angled pose, like he's running, they go straight or uh, on a forty-five degree angle up. It didn't quite look right. And then I was like, oh damn, I can use these little pieces to jump them behind him, right? So now I have like three lightning bolts coming off them and it's amazing. You know, it really ups the display factor. Yeah. It's a really cool little feature of something seemingly simple. And I guess it is, this is just to confirm, this is a new piece, right, Chris? Like we've not seen this before. At least yeah, I've never yeah. seen this. Yeah. So I, I guess it's, it's impressive that they're doing this just in general. They're, they're adding a new piece um, for, for the minifigures like this and kind of one that, um, does create so much more fun, but even just just from the fact that, like, yes, these these are now five dollars a piece, which is, as you mentioned in the last week, that that's your limit of ever getting any of these is is five dollars. Never anything higher, you're you're out. Um, but well, I, and, my and limit's I, and I under five dollars because five dollars is too much. But sure. So, but but if it ever were to go past five, you're you'd be you'd be completely out. As you mentioned then, um, and I agree. It's that's uh, five bucks is is a steep price for for minifigures, but yeah. um, the the kind of extra price for this series is now it feels less it's lessened because well there is this new piece that can do a lot that seemingly can do a lot more and it does up the play the play value of these significantly so So i think one thing i was thinking about like we're upping the play value yeah but also i was kind of thinking about new kids let's say they're like kind of like taken back by the minifig line but they see the number series 18 and they're like i'm too late to get in on the like the game right but now they sort of introduce a new element that just kind of transform the line and like we were saying you're displaying f- i bought seven figures in series 18 i bought seven figures i'd line them up in a line i have seven figures now i bought seven figures from dc 2020 and i have this dynamic you know avengers infinity war endgame type fight scene thing going and that could be my display if i so chose and it's a little more dynamic. Yeah, I, I I I like the addition of this. It's it's much more um, like you can do so much more with it than initial pictures made it see, or what? Then I assumed from seeing the initial. Well, you know that the thing is, they suggested what I'm what I'm feeling now. They suggested it by just like bending the minifigure legs in a way they can't bend, right? Manipulating the the three D render. Yeah, they they did that kind of stuff. They spread the legs out like they're oh they're moving right, and it's like we even mentioned it. They're kind of cheating, in a way. They're making the figures do something they can't do. Is that illegal advertising? Are they just like glamorizing them a bit too much? You know, because uh, you know the minifigure is supposed to be the ultimate representation of I'm anything. Sure, it says somewhere like the the picted. Yeah, well, I'm yeah, sure isn't, it does isn't too, what but get. Kids don't read that shit. So <laughs> what I'm saying is, like, the minifigure sort of represents this, like, it can be anything, you can build anything, just get enough pieces, and you can have any person you want, right? And it's the ultimate action. It can do anything, and it lives in a world that can be anything, and then they take them, and they start manipulating the images because they just sort of stand straight, and their arms go up and down, right? Yeah, I can kind of, I can kind of see uh, certainly that uh, that viewpoint on it. It, it. it is one of those that 
when you do say that you can create all these things to do all these things and then you show a picture of of that in action and it's all the figures themselves are things are, are not that like they can't do that like you make them in, in in things that it can't do i can kind of see why somebody may be upset or i, I certainly understand your um your, your thoughts on it there um because it's true up until now um any of those kinds of dynamic poses uh either required um kind of brick arms or some some third party arms that were off to the side or yeah. you it, it, it would indeed involve the cheat where you would take the arms apart and then you'd stick Crazy the them arms. In, a, in a certain Crazy. way so that they would be like facing inwards or that the, the legs would be in a pose that, that these obviously can't do when they're assembled um, as designed. So certainly these, like you said, you can now, now metamorph could launch his fists or whatever it might be. Like there's all sorts of stuff that you could do with these. You can make the flash running so fast that his hat is flying off of him. Because by Yeah. Using like I could do that right now. And stuff like that. Like it's, it, it does, Certainly, just the the addition of the one piece, um, in in the way that it is designed here, can do uh, does does allow the minifigures now to have almost as much um, kind of modularity and, and and as much creativity as the actual Lego system and the bricks themselves are designed. You could build whatever Easy. you want with those. Um, so here it opens that up significantly, so that you can now start doing those types of things with the minifigures as well. Now I know as uh, as Chris said immediately there, um, easy. Yes, you're right. It, it doesn't. It doesn't. It can't do nearly as much anything that the that that. Look the how artistic I could, am. All my could figures at least do anything. Joy. But we all we also know that that anything that has to do with the minifigure, Chris automatically hates. So he's already predisposed to not liking them. They they got to dig themselves out of a real big hole just to get him to, to consider anything with it. Such a big hole. <laughs> here's uh here's the flash with his hat flying off. Yeah, there you ah. go. And and here you go, here you go, Matt. There's the there's Sinestro calling. Oh, there's Sinestro <laughs> calling down. Yeah, perfect. Raising up the uh, the yellow lantern. So you see, this I mean, is. Did they actually have physical lanterns though? Like, I think well, they could. You can I make. Think you the can suggestion create, is they create make. Them. Okay. But but actually, no. I believe that now. I haven't read Green Lantern in. I think there the is court, one the lantern. There is. Uh, there's the central lantern there, but. Um, depending on who wrote the story, there is. Hold on, actually, hold on. I don't. I don't actually care. Let's keep. Okay, going. they, they, they do have actual lanterns. Care. They they do have actual lanterns. They're usually in a hidden zone. I <laughs> I low key super. Is that care. like a mother box? I kind of always, you know, I wish, I almost wish Green Lantern was non-canon with the rest of DC because I feel like you'd have more cred. There's something to me where I like, I feel like only a niche market, and I could be super wrong. But like I if just, the whole Green Lantern idea was an indie comic? It was like the, how the X-Men kind of always felt separate of the rest of the MCU. Okay. Well, that's true. Green Lantern, like the whole Lantern Corps, they do have – their it's it's kind of your your space stuff. So it's, it's kind of like the galactic phase it's of like Guardians the MCU almost. now. Yeah, exactly. They, the they operate in their own kind of pocket, and Earth is only one very small piece of – yeah. Of all that, I realize that I just you know they they're pretty cool. I like the idea. I I love Yellow Lantern, but then again, I also love like fear. You love fear and scary. Well, I love Scarecrow <laughs> becoming a Yellow Lantern. I love that concept. You know, yeah. he's because he's a master of fear. Blah blah blah. So of course, like the same way, uh, whatever the fuck With his name is w is worthy. Uh, Hal Jordan, John Hal Stewart, Jordan, anyways. John Stewart, uh, Scarecrow would be Jessica worthy. Cruz. Yeah, uh, just um, or the fourth one. Yeah, the one you have. Scarecrow would be worthy of a of a yellow ring, you know. I also like that uh, in that Sinestro Corps War series, uh, that like the the yellow ring went straight to Batman because, of course, he's he that that's his his deal too, and I think that's yeah. a really cool concept. I like that. And and did he become? No, he um, didn't. He, he didn't. Go, he didn't go to their side. Correct. Mm. It wasn't a power he wanted to wield on that level. Now, now I'm sure there's someone that's going to go actually in this issue. He did take it for a little while and decided he didn't want to. Ultimately, he did not. He did not take. He it. did always put stuff in in line that if he ever went out of control, people would know how to beat him, just like he knew how to beat everyone else. Should they go out of control? That is correct. Yeah, so he would turn down the power of uh, fear because no one would be able to stop him. Fact. <laughs> I don't know if that's what happened in the comics, but that's what should have happened. Um, so, yeah, I started playing with these figures, and I started playing with these little things that created motion and effects and all that. 
Uh, and I was like, this is awesome. This is a great piece. I feel like it adds that value that's bumped up. I hope they keep including it. And then I started wondering, and I wanted to talk about it. Um, does this only belong with minifigs? Or like, obviously, it's now system. It's actually, forget what I just said. We now have a piece that works within the system uh, for various uses, say like wind or exhaust or smoke or whatever you want to use it for, whatever you can imagine it as. Um, it can be that, right? That's the point of Lego. And then it also has a secondary function, which is an action piece for minifigures. So globally, it is uh, increasing the value of like Lego. It, it's added a feature to Lego that wasn't there before. You know, these... it's like the super jumpers, but useful. Yeah. <laughs> and and again, the other thing is that you can use them to suggest like the trajectory of motion. You know, so before if I just put a guy up with like a, a hidden clear stand behind him, like an action figure. Uh, he's, you know, he looks like he's doing a backflip, but he's got this clear line going straight up underneath him. So it kind of looks like he's just lifted up. But when I do like a backflip with the backflip of El Pipi, um, <laughs> it almost suggested that he came from point A on the base plate and flipped backwards. You know, he's arching, it's following him. So it's Can you make a path. Uh, in yeah. front and behind him, like um, like uh, Donnie Darko. Yeah, second week in a row. His second week in a row, <laughs> we've mentioned Donnie Darko. Yeah, uh, but essentially that's what I'm saying. It, it 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 suggests this path of motion. It's like speed lines, right? Yeah, it's like speed lines. <laughs> so uh, that's really cool. I think it's uh, not a like it's not like it's a game changer, but it's certainly a f- exciting piece. You yeah, know, it, we, have, it, we it, haven't it, had it, really. It, it, you know, we get an exciting piece and it's like, oh, we have coral now. Thanks to friends. It's coral. It'll always be coral. And now we have clamshells. <laughs> coral, that kills people. Um, you know, so we get those parts all the time. But, you know, this isn't just a new color or it's a new part that does so, so very much. Um, you know, I, I've only thought of a few things. Mockers are going to have a field day with it, right? Yeah, you'd mentioned, uh, can't wait to see what, what Andrew does with these if he gets a whole bucket full of them. And I think it'll be really cool to see. Um, and yeah, like I think already this is like the the type of action poses that you've done with these uh, is certainly nothing that I've seen advertised anywhere or in, in any other earlier reviews or anything like that. So this yeah, is all like I, I honestly haven't new. seen anything. I'm not on Instagram looking at these. I'm not on Flickr. So I literally pulled these out of the bag. I haven't seen any photos of what people have done with them and just, you know, messing with the piece in person here. Instinctually, I go, oh, cool. Yeah, he's off the ground. And then I'm like, hmm, Aquaman can look like he's swimming. And then I realize I can add the lightning bolts on Flash and it suggests this and I can use it on the fist and then all of a sudden i have this piece that you know the base plate sits underneath them that's all it does but i have this piece that can do anything with these guys it seems yeah you can get a lot of different angles out of these and i think it it, it would be interesting i don't know what building it would be good for like it's challenging contextually like, it could be real cool to have yeah like if you do angles a, now coming out skyline of set you could have a yeah. little smoke coming out of one of the buildings or whatever like you know you got to mess around like these lightning bolts aren't straight I could mess around later and get them closer. I didn't want to do that. Yeah, it looks cool like that. But it's, I just stuff one in his lightning. foot as well, you know? <laughs> I put the lightning in his foot. And I'm like, well, I might as well just stuff one in his foot, get it a little further back. And, you know, it really, it, it, it's honestly like if I just go back to the prescribed Lego picture, which is, you also get three lightning bolts with the flash, by the way. And it's kind of, I guess it's trans neon green. Or is it neon yellow? I can't really tell. I guess it's neon yellow. Both exist. It might just be trans yellow. Yeah, I'm just. I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's the Mtron reminiscent. Which is the green, color. right? <laughs> so, anywho, I'm just gonna put them in a similar pose to before, and you'll see what I mean. Now, they're going behind them, right? Yeah. Which is which is. Decent and pretty cool on its own. Which but is what we would have, have the ever had, you know, or right. I have this, which is him just standing with lightning bolts on his back. Yeah, the, the, the dynamism that your version created is is significant and makes it makes it 
I mean, it, it really does evoke motion and kind of the, the chaos of the lightning from the Speed Force. It's cool. Very, very yeah. cool. I enjoy it. I'm just saying it's a cool piece. Uh, any thoughts of what people could do with it? Like, I think smoke stacks, exhaust on cars, uh, in architecture sets, I really see that becoming more of an environmental addition. You know, maybe they get to the point where they're adding nature elements to those skyline things, you know, so we get a little cloud or smoke or mist or whatever. Do you think we'll see that part in any other colors? And that's another question. You know, I I immediately said, like, I wish the base plates were clear at this point. That would be cool to have that them on, like, clear jumpers. And then imagine just putting them on their, their fitted base plate, placing them in yeah. your city in their dynamic pose, but they're still on their factory supplied base plate, but it's clear so you can kind of see the road under them or whatever. Yeah. It would, would um, definitely be cool. I wonder if, it, they, if they went even just non, non-transparent. non could be cool. Like These can be, like... New flower pieces or something. Honestly, like that. Oh, they yeah, should have done trans cool. jumpers okay. and trans base plates. Because They've done not... trans clear jumpers in the past, but it's been many years. Yeah. Just imagine you want to put him in this pose on your road. You Now you have a big black block <laughs> on your road, right? Well, all of... you really need is the is the um, the jumper to be clear because you could just put the jumper with the little flight stand <laughs> on, on the road. That's true. You could just have just a clear stud with a hole in it, that thing. Yeah, but if it's like the flat road of like the base plate, oh, okay. Base plate, so if you get on the connected to, it'll be off, off, uh, off balance. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Craggle, need the craggle. So I kind of low key wish, yeah, that they. Uh... Uh, the stands are unprinted though; they're just black. Yeah, they're just black. No DC. Okay. Surprised me a little with that. I, I assumed that I, it I would be. I prefer the standardized ones because I, I saw agree. a hell of a lot of those online. Yeah, I mean, and what could you really do in a mock? Nobody wants the Batman ones. Nobody wants the orange ones. What can you they, do in they a mock? Want the with, uh, they want the standard black ones. They I'd rather have them black, but I'm surprised that, especially, again, being that it's the license and it being that it d- d- does cost extra money, I'm surprised they didn't have some sort of a DC branding on it. Yeah, like the orange, if you want to do a roof with them, the way you would do with a black shingled sort of overlapping thing, which looks cool. Uh, you're looking at a specialized building there. You're not really getting away with orange on many things unless you're using orange thematically in your design. So it's like brown would be cool. White. Yeah, yeah opportunities are endless. Hopefully there's more variety there too moving forward. Yeah, we'll see. And then they've I done just... white, they've done light bluish gray. Like they've been in other things besides many <laughs> figure series. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's which, true. Which is cool to see that part to get used yeah. other other places. It doesn't need to be. Like they I'm sure they crank out enough of them for the CMFs that they're happy with the cost of the mold and the use they're getting out of it. But yeah, they do like put it in it. other sets sometimes. Yeah. I, I like seeing it in, in other things like uh it's been in like like a snow plow, I think, at, at some point and, and the 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 trend the 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 gray one that you'd mentioned, like that one, I yeah. don't remember where I saw the that. legs of the ad at. They've used them there. Yeah, yeah. So, I think it was in one of the uh, Ghostbusters sets. It was in the build, like you couldn't even see it. It's in the build. It's in. The There's build. a dragon the on system. the blade. Um, <laughs> we're hoping, like we say, Ma! there's a dragon printed on the blade. Uh, we're hoping to see these included in sets as a building piece. Now, I. We kind of think like. Should I know what that's from? It's South, South Park. Park. Uh, okay. like I two like two really or something. Yeah, I yeah, haven't watched sure. since middle school, like most people. We have that, an authentic Hero Tiyazaki sword. It's got a dragon printed on the blade. The dragon's right on the blade. <laughs> it's Carmen watching one of those uh, like home shopping network. Home like, shopping network. Selling swords. Okay, okay. I didn't need to know. It's that amazing. I actually said this like a couple of days ago. That's why it's in my head. But uh, <laughs> anyways, we're hoping to see it in sets as a building piece. The likely, uh, hopefully in new colors. It's likely we're just going to see these in like uh, adventure type sets like Marvel, et cetera. Um, I can be, certainly see it there. To, to be used with the power effects or yeah. with or the just fingers. even to recreate the, 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 the images on the box. Because they're always I, in I'll actually clothes. be I surprised. I'll be surprised if Lego ever does anything where it suggests you use these other than to lift a figure and only using one. 
I'd be surprised to see two linked together in a Lego image. And I'd, be, I'd be surprised to <laughs> see like them <laughs> uh, attached to accessories or power effects, you know, Iron Man blasts or whatever. Yeah. What, what do you guys you? think? Uh, leave us a comment. What do you think these might be used for? In yeah, how do you want to see What would you like them? to see them used as? Lego often reads the comments of building up, <laughs> building to, up it. to it. Uh, <laughs> And Lepin is always reading the comments and hearing <laughs> all of it. <laughs> Through our conduit, Hanny. Two handles. Yeah. Um, Hashtag two handles. Hashtag should we go into uh, our bracket and let's see what we oh, got? Yeah. Oh, week? yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we're gonna here go. we go. Yeah. That's our topic tonight. So we now got Matt got some CMFs and that was 50 minutes. <laughs> hey, man. That's pretty good, eh? It I is. thought it was good. Are we, are we good? We we can see it. Yeah. All right. Looks like so. Clutch tonight. powers. Clutch madness. So here we go. We're Where? in the quarter right. finals. Almost done the these semis here. Are these the, the ninety five? I don't know, man. Who knows? Sports. Yeah, these are the quarters. Oh, birds. These are in the quarters. We're in the quarterfinals. Is it because there's four of them? Don't look at those ones. Look at the one where the dates are. That's where we're at. We're in the quarterfinals, oh, okay, 95 so, to 2014. I guess. I guess. I mean. And we will got, know who's going to the semifinals. The yes, that, that's correct. We're, we're, we're uh, determining oh, who goes to the semifinals. Go birds! Go birds! <laughs> go birds! So, so let me briefly. Um, go birds is just a thing you say. And then Vicky shared something with me the other day. Let's see if I can just find a it. thing you say. I think say. it's Urban Dictionary. It's the thing you say. It says, uh, you meanwhile live. in Philly, it says, go birds used in the Philadelphia area and South Jersey is supposed to mean go Eagles, but actually means thank you. You're the best. Have a good day. And anything else you can come up with. Walking out of Wawa, stranger holds the door for you. Go birds. <laughs> go birds. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, 100%. Amazing. Like that, That's always what it was. Go birds. So <laughs> 1995-2014. One of them is going to the semifinals, which we may or may not already be in. We have Crater Critters, a uh, space set just on the fringe, total fringe space set here. I have. Oh, this is our least favorite. They're now, crazy. Were you voting for ninety five? Nobody was no, voting for ninety five. My my year already got killed got by got, my year. It, it got got. It got it got get. I just love the Robo nipples. <laughs> yeah, so not a strong space showing. That was their space set, basically, right? Um, may no, it wasn't. Mm. That was a space set. It was worth talking about because it's so crazy. The other one's cool too, but this is just this is uh the other one's cool charming. too. Says says Paul. Uh, Jailbreak Joe that ship is awesome. This, Jailbreak this is jail- Joe. This is Jailbreak Joe is the name of the set. Oh, he's and obviously a uh, midnight transport. Team. Oh, for sure. Assuming he yeah, I mean this. this yeah, you're right. He he just yeah. uh, so this is one of the Midnight Transport team vehicles from several years back, and uh, it has run out of gas. Call so now he's on foot. His buddy uh, busted him busted him out of the paddy wagon, but they already have a chopper and a police. Bike you know, I escort. think he's running from his jeep here, and they have the paddy wagon open, ready to, to put him, him in him. there. Oh, I think you're right. Uh, jump, 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 jump. <laughs> That's Duke Detain's father, um, Richard <laughs> Detain, aka Dick Detain. <laughs> LPP. LPP Detain. LPP Detain. Or as they called him in the force, LPP. <laughs> uh, Unitron was that with all four of its sets. This is the Starhawk 2. I like this ship. So we don't love the white, but we love the shape, don't it's, we? It's gray. It's gray. Thank it's God. Gray. <laughs> I always thought it was white. Nope. I did too. I kind of like the gray and yellow then it's too. A, it's a bright. It's a bright. Um. It's a bright picture, but it's light gray, light gray. blue, black, it's and cool. uh, trans dark blue, trans neon green. This really like evoked sort of an original concept of like the shape of Star Wars ships. When I see it, I see like you know nothing's cooler than uh, X-wing and a Tie fighter. Honestly, um, mm-hmm. 
in the in all space movies i'm saying nothing really beats those two ships as far as no matter how goal. your tie fighter lands yeah like you know <laughs> Shut um, up to compared to any single pilot craft and then lego busts this guy out and uh you know i've seen this sort of design of sort of homage probably not on purpose in a lot of video games tacky on the fringe Oh fuck, that's a good game. You ever play that one? <laughs> a lot of those like t- like top down kind of uh, spaceship space. space this was a 3D really space fun. adventure game where you piloted a ship in space and jumped to other regions of space and docked in stations. And the character was Jake Logan, and he was voiced by Bruce Campbell. It's called God Damn. Jackie All that shit sounds awesome. <laughs> it is fucking awesome. It's fucking awesome. You start as a mercenary and you're doing shit, and you can either end up tied up with this uh, mining company, space mining company called Bimoral or Boral or something. And then the other place you can end up is with the, like, the, the sort of socialist rebels who are fighting the corporation. Damn belters. Yeah, it's <laughs> fucking awesome, man. The game is dope. And P.S. <laughs> the space cop is called Mo. His name is Mobulo. And he straight up comes in. He's like, we are docking you and checking your you know, fucking manifest. And then Have goes, your papers ready. Then he goes, Mobulo out. <laughs> it's the best thing on earth. Mobulo okay. out. So that's that's the thing. So I, like I think what Matt's lot. trying to say is this <laughs> is the first Lego single man spacecraft where it looks like they tried shaping wise. It really looks like they were trying to do something new and dynamic and uh, rem- um, mem- uh re- Mambulo. Memorable. Memorable. Very Mambulo. 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 Something Mobulo. They're like, <laughs> it's not Mobulo enough. <laughs> um, oh, yes, back in the, back in the get, mountain. Get back your crane out of Lava Mountain. Sure. <laughs> That's train. Uh, here's some more train with Carter's girders. We like that one, though. Look at, but, look at the girders. <laughs> What's the one that, that, that we talked about? How It's like it's it's not well... Frame. This picture is not. This is not the back framed. side of the set. Yeah, there's a lot more than 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 what it looks like here. <laughs> yeah, and guess what? We haven't replaced that photo. <laughs> uh, model team with Blue Fury. I like Blue Fury is pretty cool. The first build's way better. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, you think that's atypical of model team? You think usually both builds are pretty good, and this one is is well. The I mean, with a uh, big truck. Both built be cool. <laughs> Giant truck. Giant truck. <laughs> There's my castle. My childhood castle I never had. There it is. Royal oh. Knights. Same. Looks great. That's a fun, fun castle. Great one. I want to know more about who's in uh, this structure back here. Oh, that's the guy who's running over from there over to the castle. Oh, well, he's almost here. He made it. <laughs> I'd say he made it. Uh, what's interesting is that there's no uh, invading force. There's no enemy, except for a ghost and a skeleton. But there's there's no enemy in this. Set. Quiet, all, like, they, we the internal conflict. We the lions. What up? <laughs> Neptune Discovery Lab from Aquanauts. The quintessential underground lab for discovery. Underwater if gonna, lab. If, underground. If you're gonna. <laughs> Discover underwater. It better be in a Neptune lab. Yo, P.S. You want to keep your shit safe underwater? Don't put it in a trans orange safe. The only color octopuses <laughs> can see. <laughs> That's the color and of their then, food. Uh, they eat crabs, idiot. Of course, uh, pod six <laughs> over here is jerks. That just looks like a big <laughs> block of crab meat to an octopus. You've already cubed my crab meat for me. Thank you for this pre-cubed crab. I just love block. the propeller just keeping down the pods like, whoa, don't float away. That's you know, you know what that needs? That needs some uh, some flight stand pieces to show that uh, there's the bubbles that are moving out. That's the first thing I noticed. <laughs> bubbles. <laughs> uh, Skullface Island. I love this set. This is, uh, this is Skullfest 2019. Yeah, there's uh, there's Jimmy from Stitcher. This was before they <laughs> stole their shirts. That's right, they still have shirts. <laughs> um, actually, I don't know. This 
does that print? I think that a print appears on the back too. The one of the old castle prints clearly was only on the front, which didn't make any sense. But I think this is newer. This what year was that we were looking at last time? Was that so? That was the uh, the eighty nine pirates had the one sided prints. We have advanced since then. Uh, Hurricane Harbor. It looks very Miami Vice, doesn't it? We this, talked this, about this. how this one is actually pretty great. What did we say? I don't remember it now. It's just dynamic. Uh, it offers lots of cool vehicles. As every vehicle that you could that you could think of is there. <laughs> if there was a motorcycle here, it'd be done. <laughs> done. Plus dolphin. And I think this this boat is just really it's it's sleek, it's compact. Those two things mean the same thing, and it uh it looks quick. Although I'm not entirely sure how it's motorized. <laughs> it's not. Uh, it's, oars. it's uh, what's it called? Inboard, outboard, inboard. Yeah, inboard. I think it's I think on, it's out think, on board. No, I think it's outboard. Outboard. Outboard oh, is rig, <laughs> rigged on the back, and inboard is an engine that has a cavity inside the boat. I, I, all right, so I don't see one rigged at the back. <laughs> and that doesn't mean it's not just small, and I don't see it. So it might be inboard. Definitely not on board, because uh, English. Definitely not on board. Oh, this is the best playset Legos ever made. This one's pretty awesome. Oh yeah, we've we've definitely loved on this one. Go on yeah. for hours on. We what sang, you can do we've sung its praises many times because it, it is it is deserving though. Well, that's the cool greatest playset Legos made. Dolph, Dolph, Dolphin Point. <laughs> Something. The, the dude on the grill. With uh, with with no shirt on. He's got a shirt. Is it just a muscle shirt? A tank it's top. A, it's a tank top. Yeah. Oh, I thought that that was a an apron that he was wearing. He's with a no scream shirt dog. Out. He's a scream Oh, you dog wish it was sure. an apron. <laughs> There's the dolphin again. Get no, they have to live in the filth of their master's demand. <laughs> the- <laughs> and the chairs are directly on the grass. Yeah, the the male servant is grilling up some some dolphin meats. The, See uh, the guy. I never noticed the, the guy local... coming in on the boat, but I think what he is is like a male order sex slave. <laughs> you you think it's like the sirens call and he's I coming think in he's and a stripper. Crash on shore? No, I think he's been hired or demanded. He's a male stripper. <laughs> well, the, the communication is is done via the the parrot there. Like you you see you send the parrot over, so you need a stripper to come, and then he'll come in on his uh on his parasail. She's bringing the boombox so he can do his moves. <coughs> That's right, the jam box here. You're cramping my style. <laughs> and then Technic had uh this monstrosity. He's more buttons now than bricks. <laughs> oh yeah, this it's a, this the the Vader chess piece. <laughs> but the T Rex is cool, especially if you see the giant one they have at like Land California. I mean how 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 irrelevant is that by now? This is from nineteen ninety five and they still have this T Rex huge at Legoland California. <laughs> that is one hundred percent irrelevant now. It's for the nostalgia. For the few yeah, people I, who know this one technique. It's, it's too big for them to take it down and do something else with it. It's like the same reason that the, the Chima water park will be there forever. It's like <laughs> we'd have to seriously reskin this. Yeah, it's expen- too expensive to tear down, too expensive to rebrand. What the the craziest thing is at the Discovery Center they have four different three or four different movies that play in the <laughs> 4D cinema. And one of them is Chima. And I'm thinking, how long until nobody who comes in here and sits through the movie knows what the hell they're looking at? They're going to just do a Planet of the Apes Lego <laughs> and reskin it. Chima Playground will become Planet of the Apes. And there'll still be lions and birds. Oh, my. So that's 95 Got some crazy, some some not as impressive stuff, but some really heavy hitters in there too. I, I just want 
one year from the 90s to go all the way? Is that too much to ask? Leave it to 97, bruh. Devin, I'm <laughs> counting on you because I don't know if 95 is going to do the trick this, this week. This is 2014. It's the Maersk Triple Y. Yo, dog, you like weird. You like Maersk. So we can get you we put, everything Maersk you could possibly make. Yo, dog, I heard you like sticker sheets. <laughs> Best believe. Have you seen the sticker sheet for this set? No. It's got Holy be shit. Bad. Assuming it's, this is. It's every one of these. Yeah. It's and, this. It's the stars here. It's the, the plaque sticker here. And then the other side of the ship as well. Now, can I can I assume then that each of those kind of shipping containers is its own shipping container, right? So it's not like just shells. Like, um, where, so is, is this it, actually like like seventy? So each each one container? of these sections lifts off, and it's all built together. So the stickers oh, are only on the far exterior got of it, both sides of these chunks, but these whole chunks come off, and they are built to look like uh, different colored shipping containers mixed together. Got it. As you can see, there's like blue patches mm -hmm. and white patches, but they're not. They are all lift. They can all it. lift off. They just they they lay down on these uh, fence pieces. Got it. So you could separate them, I guess, but they're not stickered up. The expert Mini Cooper. Not a Civic, unfortunately. Sorry. Sorry, Kenny. Uh, the Parisian restaurant, Shay Albert. This is still not retired yet. Is this no, it's one? retired now. Okay. It finally did. I think. I don't know. No, don't don't ask me. <laughs> don't quote me. Is Matt still here? I believe so. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Every time you guys don't talk, I'm like, yep, I dropped out, didn't I? I like how went, is Matt here? Not are you still here? I was just trying to find Matt? a link between Lego and Maersk, actually, and the only thing I can find was that uh, the family that owns Lego and the family that owns Maersk are two of the only Danish billionaires on the Fortune 500 list. I and think so the, maybe the connection they, is just that money. Maersk is from Denmark, right? Well, Initially? that could be it, or they may have social ties. I'm guessing as socialites of that. Dude, we should you should make a Lego set of uh, of my company. But I'm also sure that Maersk probably shipped like Lego at some point. Maybe they shipped like their relationship goes back to 1959. So maybe the relationship. Shipped, maybe they the relationship. <laughs> uh, maybe they shipped the uh, stamps and night bricks or the whatever. I don't know. That's way off. There's a fairground mixer. I still love the idea. That they made this giant, ridiculous hat for this guy just to house a clip so it could hold the third pin so it looks like he's juggling. Oh, Simon like, Baz, that's the guy's name, isn't it? The other Green Lantern, by the way. Oh, yeah, the Baz there? man. <laughs> you would hate so, so this is this is his normal hat when he's not juggling Stilt Man. And then they're like, wait, what if we build him this big black brick of a hat? That can hold the third pin. Also, it looks like it's, it's in motion. That's what that's what happens when you in in a pre jumper or in a, in a pre uh, flight stand world. That's what you had to do. Yeah, I, I like the effect, but this hat is like what? <laughs> like how small his head looks compared to this hat. Well, anyway, fairground mixer. It's the first of the fairground sets. The first of the carnival sets. I also think the pin should be red, not orange, because it just looks like he's a light on his hat. <laughs> it kind of does. <laughs> or a torch. <laughs> for those... for. I, I wonder day. if... Yeah, I mean, they could have gone with yellow, red, and blue pins. Yeah. Just this, like the, the Lego basic colors. Also, the chairs on the fairground mixer. Or they should have. What they should have done is, even if they build this hat, they should have put a uh, clear rod that slotted. Oh, that could be a good way to do it too. Yeah. Oh, you got to look at what parts <coughs> oh, didn't yet oh, exist in uh, in 2014. I could think of a few that would be useful in that. Also, um, all of the cones here on on this railing are the glow in the dark color, I believe. Really. And I think this, this, the tiles here, the, the white-looking ones, they're all glow-in-the-dark. So this thing's got some some action. Well, I think they should have gone with trans yellow. 
if they were doing lights or trans red or something trans pink i still like that though i think it's really cool yeah santa's uh wick shop this is my favorite lego oh. christmas set keep hitting the button was was the spider-man version the white one not available for these. Yeah, I don't know. I guess, <laughs> guess not. I love the toy machine. This is such a like black with the yellow clips. This is why. Who's got lights like that? <laughs> the clips might as well have been black. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Santa does. Santa has black, black ropes or black strings. This is like Santa went to. Big lots. Santa went to, to, to go go buy lights on on Christmas Eve, and this is all that was left. It was like we got the black string or the black cord with the yellow um, housing for all the bulbs. Like, wh- why do you why why do you make that? No wonder it's the only one left. Who knows? Except we'll never know. This is the first of the two sets where you're like, so what kind of winter? Oh, villain it also you? comes with four hunks of deer meat. <laughs> venison four, four hunks of venison the four hunks of venison this really isn't your day y'all want to throw this on the toy maker the Mars Curiosity Rover lame yeah I thought so too hot take <laughs> but seriously though just the truth <laughs> well Okay. Yeah. Uh, one. one. Good car build. I do Great like mini figs. They can't. Their bags can't go in with them. But that is a yeah. That was a a very disappointing. <laughs> I mean, the bags are great, but I wonder if they should have just done like a. It uh, comes with a stand for all four of the figures. It does isn't that, isn't that good enough for you? Uh, I do the figures put it on the shelf and forget do about the it forever. Figures fit in the car. Do the figures fit in the car? You can get the four figures in, but you can't have them. Okay, with so them. I just wonder if the pack at this point should have just been like a sort of one by back. one, two tile high, one by one, with like a print on it. These packs are overly cumbersome. They are, and they definitely don't fit in the car, like you said. But uh, it's still a very cool set. The car's I'm, great. I'm glad to have it. Yeah, I don't have it, but I saw it. It's cool. I got Very no good. real connection to Ghostbusters, but Me I either. think this car would be nice if you get all, got rid of all the Ghostbusters stuff and just had this like as a the car it was meant to be, kind of like with your Speed Champions, maybe. I don't know. All I really ever remember about Ghostbusters is that Dan Aykroyd gets a blowjob from a ghost. <laughs> In that montage, it's like okay. Sure, it's a kids' movie. Kids <laughs> love it. Slimer's eating hot dogs in the beginning. That ghost eating hot dog right there. <laughs> I definitely didn't see Ghostbusters. <laughs> uh, the Exo. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Love this set. So, Plus the green, the, the green astronauts. So what makes this hell yeah? Oh yeah, and I don't Mars have Rover that. is not cool. I love Max. The figures. Well, I, I mean, I wasn't Max. this like the first idea set or some shit? This, this and this one were the first two unlicensed idea sets. Right. <coughs> I will support ideas uh, just kind of across the board, uh, again, because I like the concept and I support the concept. But the, the Mars Rover one, and uh, in general, it's, it's, it's some of the ones that, even back then, it was one of the ones that was like, Cash grabby, like put this out because this is it's because this rover is in it's in the news right now and people are all excited about this. Let's let, let's make a set and it got it got approved and they made it. And well, you so, know that the ooh. guy who proposed the idea worked on the actual Mars rover. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I think it's cool. That's why and I I so I, I I support the idea and I support the concept of Lego ideas wholeheartedly. But um. I, I I couldn't care less about Maybe that. Maybe it would have been gone over better if uh, the Mohawk guy proposed it. You remember Mohawk guy? He was popular for a few minutes. Mohawk guy, <laughs> please update your account. Oh, brick link. <laughs> but yeah, I love Max, so that's why I, I understand that Lego owns the company now. Update account. 
Sorry, I'm <laughs> logging into Bricklink because I was just like, I don't have a green space person. And then I found a Canadian page with uh, Pete a and Eve. One for 35 percent off. What? There's two. Oh, yeah. I one, just want one guy, one girl. Classic space. I, it's. I don't know that it's going to be under that, but you have it fun is. searching for that. It is I, under it. I know how. I, what under minifigures? Uh, when you search classic space, well, its name is classic space green with blah blah blah, and then in parentheses Eve. Really? I thought it would have. I thought they would. I, good on them then. I thought it would have been like buried deep in the the ideas, Pete. And that's it. <laughs> it's like, oh, great, because I wanted to search for that. <laughs> oh, good on good on Bricklink for. For, Not being uh, dickheads. You, using words that anyone would use to search for it. Uh, classic space, but the green one. Yeah, when you it's on the second page. You can find uh, Eve and uh, Pete. But Eve happens to be $3 cheaper. And I only need one. I don't care about the head. That's interesting, because the only difference is the face. Yeah. Three dollars cheaper. Wow. And there's there. I mean, obviously, that's the, the value same number of each. <laughs> but that could just be that, like, the person who has her on sale also doesn't have. Maybe uh, already Pete. sold Pete. Yeah, maybe Pete's already sold. He's just trying to clearance out Eve. But uh, yeah, I mean, okay. this person regularly has uh, Eve for th five dollars. So technically, I guess she is cheaper. Which is gender disparity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come Speaking on, of. guys. Speaking of, yeah, now we have Women of Science or whatever this one was called. The Research Institute, the cheapest ideas set to ever come out. Indeed. Speaking of gender disparity. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. It hasn't been beaten yet, price wise. Nope. I like the set still for what it was. I thought it was cool. Three little builds, three small, three small things. Is this what started three small things? I can't. No, this is the sure arcade. Before that, right? No, this this is no what doubt. started three small things, isn't it? Fantasy oh, era revolutionary. <laughs> no, but when did we start referencing three small things? When we saw Lego Ideas Arcade. Well, we we had talked about it like or the Sega one where it, it was the Sega arcades or something. No, well that that's what we talked about it in the context of Lego Ideas. Um, just generally speaking. Is when you had mentioned the Ghost Rider set, I believe, which had like the three, like like it was all the three things, wasn't it? Something like that. Um, so way back then, on the how go, it was the motor, the Ghost Rider with the motorcycle. It was <laughs> who was Ghost Rider against? I don't remember, but I did buy oh, two uh, <laughs> Spider Man. And it was Spider Man and Ghost Rider. And then it was like a street corner or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it was when I think of three small things, I think of the how to win at Lego Ideas, and this is the first one that did that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, the some Minecraft set. Where's Spiro? Damn it! This is the mountain cave. We need some Greek dressing. Not the cave, but the mountain cave. Jiggle some Greek dressing. He'll appear. <laughs> uh, the Heart Lake Shopping Mall. Your only source for gold palm fronds and yellow five point rocks. Ooh, tasty yellow okay. five point French rocks. fries. My French fries. My French dogs. <laughs> I always got the DJ there at the mall. Spinning live. I mean it's it's just uh Emma. For, for a fashion show, Ooh, I the guess. The seller also has it's a it, dog fashion show. This seller also <laughs> has eleven parademons for a dollar each. Yeah, that's that's a fucking Aquaman set that just won't go away. Yeah, hell yeah. You getting them? I might for free shipping. <laughs> I'm feeling squirrely. A dollar each. I mean, that's that's pretty good. Just change their head and they'll be fine. Here's a Volvo. I do well, like you know this. what? I don't the, a... the dino, I'd say. So if anyone oh. if anyone oh says God. the new Speed Champions is is Lego's first uh, foray in a Volvo, they're wrong. This I'm, might not even be the first one. I'm low key tempted to get a Chase McCain because of his name. 
Ace no, McCain meets I Duke Detain. Because I played the game. <laughs> I may want to the game because I played the game. They have 58 City Square Lego Star statue Futron Green Spacemen. Wait, say, say that again. Let me get that. Yeah, yeah. I know I know what that is, but so the, it's like the it's like a out? green spaceman, but with like the cross white. It's green. Futuron. It's Futuron, but in green. Futuron. Got it. But they have fifty eight of them. Wow. That's a yeah, lot. It's the Futuron version of what the Pete and Eve are to classic space. Something like that. Uh somehow um Technic isn't the end of the line for this year. I guess the numbering is crazy. Arctic, this is the the bears and dogs. Dog pile with bears. Oh, I love the the first Arctic line is better than the second. Fact. I mean, like the the two thousand Arctic line. Yeah, well, or... there's the one where they're uncovering animals, which came out twenty eighteen, I guess. And this one was what twenty fourteen. So 14. you're saying this is the first one. This is the first one, yeah. Okay, because there's one in like, 2000 as well. Yeah, yeah, I realize, but this like modern. You mean uh, of Arctic. the modern ones, like this versus the one where they they got all the frozo animals. Yeah, the, the yeah. frozen like uh, yeah, the, the yeah, yeah, yeah. I it's found like, a mammoth. Somebody give me a winter hat. <laughs> uh, this exactly. is a kind of train yard with cows. Secret cow. Cool to have a train yard if you're a train guy. Yeah, we are so not into this right now. Um, Chima. Oh, Chima was doing uh, Ice Wolves versus Firebirds. And this is the one that turns into the Phoenix or whatever. Is that right? Yeah, the whole thing Phoenix. turns into some big flying so it's a big, thing. Yeah, they had to plan elaborate cool. transformations. And it Dude, had uh, ball launchers. Homie's got dual double-bladed axes. Like, this Ice is axes. some Chronicles of Riddick shit right here. <laughs> He's got... <laughs> Is that a rubber band? What's that? The the ring on the left. Yeah, that's yep, a rubber it is. Band. Sure yeah. is. You get one of those too. We had some great joke about this set last time we looked at it. Something about like the fireballs in a pile here, maybe. What was it? Oh my god, I don't remember. <laughs> oh, that's that's a bone shaker comment right there. Bone shaker. Hit me. Let bone us know. Shaker. We said something great about this set last time we looked at 2014. <laughs> what was it? Let us know in the comments. Then the yeah. Ultra Agents, Big Truck Rolling. I, I, I forget like what it's actually set. called, but we yeah. call it Big Truck Rolling. I got that built at my girlfriend's apartment. That's a pretty badass looking set. Love the... Uh, which which of the villains is this one again? Terabyte. That's right. That's right. My girlfriend laughed at me for that one. But it's got a little mech. It's got a <laughs> uh, little ATV, drones. I guess the, the mech's actually solid, and it's got terror bite, ball launchers, ball doggies. <laughs> he's got a ball dog hand, and he's got a grabby hand. <laughs> he's got a ball. So he's got to pick it up hand. somehow. <laughs> he's got to pick the ball back up and stick it back in this thing. <laughs> I missed. <laughs> ball doggy. Uh, and Jago had a. I, I like the look of this. I like the look of that too. It's got a zip line. I mean, the color scheme is great. Maybe it's just the colors that I like. Maybe that's all it is. You'll have to try. We had uh, they, they had like this the spider mech, and then his legs because he's in the spider mech. <laughs> Don't forget my legs. <laughs> yeah, there's a crazy assortment of extra shit over here. The grappling that's, hook. That's the Overlord from uh, Rebooted, I guess. Metal Beard Sea Cow. You can pick one of these up right now. Warmester Brick Shop. It's assembled, and I've been approved to slash prices on this set. Mention, oh, this not, mention building up to it for discounts. Oh, I can't wait to go on the Bricks on a Dollar Punch in the Face 2020 That's tour. Saying, punch over the face. Punch <laughs> in the Face 2020 tour. Nationwide. Punching but, all faces. But there's your Benny. There's your Queasy Kitty. There's your uh, Vitruvius. This is... Well, how many? There's only two Vitruvius, as I recall. There's this one and the one that came with the the Blu-ray. Is that right? There's this my, one, my way wrong. One in the Lord Business Evil Lair where he's a ghost. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then there's the young one that came with the Blu-ray. Yeah, that's right. The Blue Rizzle. And then <laughs> this is your Blue little Rizzle. little metal beard, because the regular size one wouldn't 
go too well with this. <laughs> it didn't ship. scale well. It didn't scale preferably. The, the little, yeah. uh, the big one is like proper sized. He's not truncated at all. This one's very much. Oh, here's a question. Small boy, yeah. Uh, the new piece from the CMF. How do you think Bricklink will categorize that minifigure accessory utensil? Uh, shoot, I, I'm gonna go with bar. I think the category is gonna be bar. Yeah. <laughs> Leave a comment below. How do you think Bricklink is gonna categorize that the flight stand piece? Well, I don't know. If you go on the Bricklink's main page, the big banner ad right now is for those Disney. No, not yeah. Disney. Keep saying Disney. The DC. CMFs. I'd like oh, to know if they whipped up that graphic or if that's Lego's graphic. They're just like, yep. We're using that and uh, moving right along. <coughs> it's a Benny's spaceship, spaceship, spaceship with banana missiles. <laughs> banana. Uh, here's his house. In case you want to come through Warminster Brick Shop and go. <laughs> Where's the Do you guys the have the figures? Simpsons house? The sleepy looking figures. Do you guys have the Simpsons house? Nah, man. It's been a while. <laughs> yeah, there's the ghost. ghost? If you're into that kind of thing. Trans clear minifigure utensil posing stand. Minifigure utensil. So it, it, it's already on there. And How much you the question? It's a utensil. How much are they going for? Uh, Who's got well, the most? For Andrew tell, Singh. Tell me somebody in Germany has got 10,000 of them. Fucking German people with their 10,000 quantities. <laughs> I, so, Lego owning Bricklink, you're going to see some shit get shut down in, in, in Europe now. 19 cents. Oh. 120. All right, how do I sort by quantity? Highest quantity. 46 so, u.s seller 40 cents oh uh, yeah there, there's gonna be some like raids in in europe for the, some of these bricklink stores that have like oh, i've got you know an entire box truck worth of this piece no big <laughs> deal yeah sorry to interrupt but uh we should have done that earlier it's interesting oh it, here's it, the um here's the place place place. Place. Yeah, <laughs> told you and there's general veers I mean, pretty solid year. This this is the year that had these two, like the last gray good, and gray, the last good um, non original trilogy at at and Star Destroyer in like regular retail. Yeah. What is is that a Ben Kenobi hologram? A, it's a Vader, I would it, guess. It's the uh, with the Emperor. It's the Emperor. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. That is cool. I didn't know that was in there. Sorry, Paul. <laughs> um, yeah, it originally came in this one. It's been in a couple. I think it was in... I want to say it was in one of like the throne room kind of sets. But they haven't used it too much. It's a cool piece. It's It's a modified little statue figure, but it's got the cape and the hood. It's the UCS Sandcrawler. This is the same crawler to have. For sure. For shizzle. How do you see what thanks sets, for correcting uh, yourself a there. piece appears in? Um if you're looking at the catalog entry for that piece. Oh, item oh. appears in one set. Yeah. Minifigure. OB one's hot. Oh, this is the OB one. So so that's oh, Leia then? I don't know. Yeah, it is. It's Leia in in um in that. It, it might not be the same piece. If it's only in one set, then it's probably a different. Well, this slightly one different. Leia, I guess it kind of yeah. So I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna screen share, but it kind of has like a. I'm already look. screen share. I know. So when I search, <laughs> uh, what's the that? Song? We're, we're with doing the, this bracket, the, dog. No, that's the Star Destroyer. <laughs> He's the Milano, right? Yeah. If if you want the Star Destroyer is uh. Seven five zero five five. Doing some research. Apparently, he's feeling he's squirrely over there. Uh, <laughs> oh, this yeah. is the original Milano set from First Guardians. I like with, that um, one. The good one comes with Ronan, um, who's riding on the front of his little ship. <laughs> I don't know why. 
He's he's Cree. He doesn't. He didn't really get to do much in his movie, did he? Poor Lee Pace. Is that who plays him? Yeah. Poorly paced. You mean like episode no, eight? No, no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the actor is called well, Lee Pace. Yeah, yeah, light it's blue so mini-gear utensil statue, trophy with cape and hood. Yeah, so this one is the Emperor. <laughs> it's pretty getting sweet, some, actually, Paul. Getting us some real information there? 16478. How do you feel about the fact that this Milana used all these Technic uh, fairings? And like bionicle wings for this business uh, when I, all the ones after there. that did it with system. Like they they all did it with like mixel joints and just wing plates. So at that point, um all Lego's ever giving you is probably one wing plate with a tile or two on it. Uh where on this we get these, which we can also sort of angle easier without mm-hmm. an ugly uh peg female plate so i kind of like them in this in this case i think it's pretty cool it, it allows for a cool effect it's kind of like the first the first quinjet versus all the smaller versions of it later like this is the this is the good one where you get you get all the bells and whistles whereas the smaller ones you can't really do that in so even though is it the benatar the next was the benatar i think like it's it's not yeah. the same ship but it's basically the same ship like so that's the, it's just a like this is the good one and the other one is the not so good one. Yeah. Yeah, the second one's a lot smaller. But this is the only time we got Ronin. Yep. Bronin. Bronin. You can I'm also black. pick one of these up at West Westchester uh Bloodsport. Burp burp, burp store. Burp slurp. Uh, does it go along yeah, did, with your uh, 89 uh, Batmobile? Did the Oscars happen? Did the Oscars happen? Uh Golden Globes were yesterday. Did Joaquin Phoenix win? He did. Of course he did. There I think this isn't. Hockey. Wacky Fino. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Schmaug. 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 Oh, he's got a green axe. I know, it's dope. And my should, axe. Is it emerald? I don't know, maybe. Where yeah. are these dwarves going to get emeralds? Gold mine. You know, <laughs> if you go to a gold mine, wine you better glass. expect Stop dragon it. interference. Dagrons. Dagron interference. Dagron stomping around. This glass just fell right over. I like gold. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, and I think this is the last one. That's Ninja the Turk most dogs. bummer ending. Oh, Although yeah. these dudes are so super armyable. What are these? They? Uh, these like foot soldiers. Yeah, the foot but man? they're like they're looking like straight Call of Duty something over in the Middle East, homies. They're definitely homies. Like, Call of Duty Seven something up? over in the Middle East. Foot soldier robots. But well, these ones aren't cool. robots in this time. They like they look like insurgents, man. They got like they the, the, the the and stuff like that? scarves and stuff. <laughs> Kashmina scarves. Can you zoom in? I think I can. All I know is Carter was a big fan of these 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 dudes, or at least their torsos. <laughs> Carter's like a big fan of certain torsos, oh, and it. then that's it. Yeah, that's, that is actually pretty dope. They do look like insurgents. No, you're totally right. Yeah, like if if you're uh your brick arms in on a budget, these are your dudes. These are your bro diggies. You just you just add the uh, the brick arms weaponry, and then you and then you're all then, set. You just throw these guys right in the trash. Oh, you sh- as you should. Oh Eesh. my! Oh my God! Turtle lair invasion. <laughs> oh <laughs> that, my that, God! Uh, thank God he's got the goggles because you can't see the top of his head because he's gross. <laughs> <laughs> Extreme radical. <laughs> Cowabunga! How many yeah. uh, turtles movie sets did they come out with? They had at least too many. One more. But like these only obviously there's only two turtles. Do they come they out? They had with? this one and the the truck, big Apparently. truck, and maybe that's it for the movie. Good, <laughs> good. And then all the all the cartoon style turtle sets were all they they took a lot of cues from the toy line where it's like put them in a space suit, put them with some pizza. <laughs> Put them in all kinds of craziness, so they you can't get like straight turtles if you wanted to. You can only get like these ones have have a uh, bomber jackets on because they're flying some kind of submarine limo. Yep, 
That's what it was. They made like a rocket sled <laughs> out of I don't know. I don't even know what. And also street signs. They made it out of street signs. <laughs> I just got okay. the figures and that's it. Just just the figures of those. Just the four turtles. You and your weird toy store you go to. All right. What do you guys I don't know. Those, those are from like Brickworld, like back back in the day. Uh, 95 I'm, or 2014. I'm going to go first. I'm going to say 2014. Uh, 95 had some great sets. I don't think it has sort of the pinnacles of sets. It doesn't have the sets that you want going up against 96. You know what to lose against 96. Is that what do you're you? saying? Do I? No, the castle's I do. good. Space, you know, although the ship's great, I don't it's love a... the line better than Blacktron, you know? The shuttle's great. Pirates um... is pretty good. Aqua Raiders is good. I just, I don't know. There's a lot of good in 2014. Yeah, I'm going with 14 also. Oh, sorry, are you done? I didn't mean to cut you off. No, I, I'm done. 2014 is, it's just a strong year, you know. Yeah. The modular, whatever, but Maersk Liner, I think every, all the lines were sort of performing good. Ideas was good. Yeah, there's enough that, like, even on the other of the Lego lines, Movie I Two collect. had like two epic ass sets. See that that's the thing. It also had the Lego Movie stuff, which I thought was really good. Again, it's 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 Lego's IP, and but it, but it was really calling back to at this point for Lego Movie One. It was to to all the other kind of old stuff. And so Benny's like, spaceship is better than the Starhawk, or yeah, whatever. exactly. So you got some classic space represented there. So it has a lot of those. And it does and have pirates, a ship if you want you know, a ship and all that. The pirates is better too. It's got classic space and pirates in yeah. a modern format. And then I love the, all the ideas. So I mean, this is the only ideas. only pirate thing. Yeah, but still, it's dope. But all right. <laughs> I'm going with 95. So I'm going with 14 also. So I guess we're, we're with 14 in this one, just because the the mass appeal to everyone else, I think, as well to bring. I in I, I really like 95. It's got, okay, boomer. It, <laughs> yep. <laughs> wow. It's got. It's got solid pirates. It's got solid castle. It's got solid aqua zone, and it's got solid town. I don't need anything else. It's solid for the sure. The space is like the worst of those five, and it's still not bad. It had a monorail. <laughs> Unless that was that might have got bumped to the year before, or the year after, because the, the monorail was Unitron. I don't think we didn't see the monorail this in. No, we would have. We would have seen it. Yeah, it would have been in there. So it must have gotten pushed. Maybe it was in the year before, or the year after. I don't know. Let's find out. 94. Oh, yeah, that's great. That's a great way to view things. <laughs> yeah, the monorail got released right before, the year before the um, other three Unitron sets. Oh, 94, man. How, how did 94 lose? Come on. Sorry, dog. <laughs> Who did it lose to? Scream Dog. They lost to ninety five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just... Look at look at I, Should... I love what, looking the journeys like look at how far some of these go straight and through. Like, did we fuck up? Should we like try to random. rescue one year to see? It was random. That's where the bracket came. They just the, if ninety four really had been against something else, it might have made it further. Yeah. Now that I'm glad you guys both just killed 95 for me, you know, whatever. <laughs> it was a strong year also. I just don't want like 2018 to be the best year ever. It's like Yeah, I I, I I'll can. agree with you. I it, it's 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 almost blasphemous to think about. So I'm hoping that 96 will come there, but though 18 is also a really strong year, but it's one of those that Look at this. 2010, 2012, 2014 and potentially 2018. Like come on guys. 2010, 2012 are, are, are that's that's a while ago now. <laughs> this ten years ago. All right, all right. Well, 2014 moves on. So next week we're gonna look at 96, the only holdout against 2018. And then we've uh, so we got four more weeks of this, and then we uh, never shall bracket again. <laughs> All right. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for listening. 
Check out the Rumble Collectors Facebook group where we are frequently interacting with everybody. Check out RumbleCollectors.com where you can learn about the Cool Table Network and all the shows therein. Shows like Into so the cool. Realm, Brick in the Mold, Figure Banging, Stasis Lock, Nerd Rage Radio, Shattercast Uncut, Classic Fanatics, Toy Detox, Fear and Bolters 40K, Eight Weeks, Fresh Communications, and Verbally Challenged. The episodes may not be family friendly, but they are all part of a friendly family. You got to slim that list down. I'm not the one that puts them in the Cool Table Network. No, but uh, the other shows have slimmed their lists. They're also don't like, they're don't so you listen in it. to the other shows, Paul. 